Trace the design and transfer it to your lino block. Put masking tape over the corners so the paper doesn't move. Trace over your image using a biro. Check over your work. Colour in the printing areas of the design with a marker pen. This will help you to remove the right areas when you're carving. Just remember to carve away the parts that aren't coloured in. It is best to carve along the edges of the design first, then carve away the rest of the non-printing areas. Then carve away the rest of the non-printing areas. Carve around each shape with a small U-shaped tool and remove any white areas inside of the shapes. You can carve a right angled corner by cutting towards it along one edge and then the other. Leave the lino shaving attached, it will come away when you make the second cut.
Use a large U-shaped tool to clear larger areas. The more flat and even you leave the carved surface, the easier it is to print along. Aim to reduce the block to around a third of its original thickness. A registration template is used to line up the block and paper when printing. This helps you to get the print straight on the paper and it is essential for lining things up when printing with more than one block. You can use paper for this but a piece of thick card is even better because it is rigid. Take a piece of stiff paper or card a bit larger than your printing paper. Lay a sheet of the printing paper on top and carefully draw around the edges with a sharp pencil. You need to be as accurate as possible. Remove the printing paper, then take your block and place it face up on the template inside the shape you have just drawn. Position your block in the middle of the paper shape using a ruler to centre it if you want it to be really accurate. Go carefully around the block, making sure the line is as tight to the edge as possible.
Mark the top of the paper so that you can always put the block down the right way around. You've carved your liner block, now you need to print it. This is the fun part, but it's also where things sometimes go wrong. Judging the right amount of ink to use is a skill you will acquire through practice. If you use too much, ink will go into the carved out areas, resulting in loss of detail and smudgy edges. If you don't use enough, your print will be light and patchy. Set up your printing area in an organized way Try to keep the ink in one place. Squeeze some ink onto your ink slab near the top edge. Spread the ink to the width of your ink roller with the ink knife. This is your ink reservoir for dipping the roller into when you need more ink. Once the ink is evenly spread out on the roller, look to see if you have the right amount of ink. Dip the roller into the ink reservoir and start rolling it out in the space below. Move the roller forward with a slight downward pressure, then lift it back to the start and repeat. This will spread the ink faster than just going back and forth. Once you have an even layer of ink on the roller, Roll it out onto your block to transfer the ink. Try to roll in straight lines covering the whole surface evenly. Roll in different directions to reach all corners and edges. Recharge the roller with more ink as needed. The first time you ink a block you can see if you've missed any areas but after that the block will be stained and it is harder to see. Wipe away any stray ink from the non-printing areas of the block with a dry rag. It will look worse after you have wiped it, but don't worry, it should stop the ink transferring to the paper when you print. Take a sheet of printing paper and line it up on the registration template. Fix it at the top edge with two or one piece of masking tape. Fold back the paper and place the inked block in position. Carefully lower the paper onto the printing block. Hold the paper so it doesn't move and rub over the back of your block with your brayer. You will need to press quite hard to transfer the ink. Go over any areas you have missed. When you have finished, lift the paper and carefully remove the masking tape. With the correct amount of ink, your print will have a solid layer of ink and a crisp, well-defined edge. When there is too much ink on the block, it will be squeezed out around the edges during printing, resulting in less defined edges and fine details filling in. If you don't use enough ink, your print will be light and patchy. This more textural effect can be useful for some projects. If your print has drag marks or a double image like this, the paper or block has moved during printing. To avoid this, hold the paper down firmly whilst printing. 